gonna show you the right way and the wrong way to hook a Starlink Mini up to a Go Zero Yeti battery. So at first I wanted to just hook up the Starlink right to one of these DC barrel jacks on the Go Zero Yeti, um, but I'll show you why that doesn't work. So if you hook it right up to the DC battery, you're only gonna get like 13.5 volts at the end of the 50 foot cable. And to match what the wall wart's given off, you need uh, 29.8. So we're not getting enough voltage to the end of the 50 foot cable by just plugging right into the DC battery. So we need a booster. You need a booster and then you need a 6.3 millimeter barrel jack. And then you need a 5.5 millimeter barrel jack for the Starlink cable if you're using my setup here. So normalized battery consumption for the Starlink Mini on AC power is 38 watts about, 26.8 hours to empty. And then normalized battery consumption of the Starlink Mini with the booster going right into the DC is 25 watts and about 44.5 hours to empty. So significant improvement. So side note, you can't use the USB-C cords that are sold with the Starlink Minis because you need 100 watts and the Goal Zero is just a 60 watt max, at least mine is. So you need to use one of the six millimeter output ports that's 120 watt rated.